What's going on guys? I'm out here at Spring Creek. I will drop the location of this place if you want me to. This isn't a real secret place that I go to, but we're out here during the uh, late white bass run. The white bass run has been going on since late January, early February maybe. But, uh, you know, I figured I might as well come out, try to get on some late white bass run action, see if we can get us a few fish here today. I'm gonna be waiting today, uh, walking up and down this creek. I know this spot of the creek really well. I fished here for a couple years now, so I know some good holes and stuff that should be holding white bass. So let's see if we can get a couple. So a huge tip I have for you guys, if you guys are ever gonna come down to a creek like this and wade for white bass, is get just a basic backpack. I got this one at Academy for like 10, 15 bucks, maybe. Maybe even if that, so fishing this on a Fluger President dude for 50 bucks honest to god I don't think you can beat this reel it's just amazing for the money super smooth drag super powerful I'm fishing on a Falcon Buku rod this is the uh, medium light panfish version I can show you guys a video of how I did early in this white bass run a couple months ago before I decided to get back into the YouTube game where I caught 25 30 fish caught a limit but fished a little late in the day and didn't get our two man but i got my limit bro uh, look at this oh and yes one lonely oh. <laughs> Dude, ridiculous. yes <laughs> god bro we out here fishing for some white bass Let's see what we got that's some rod bend in action, baby. So what happens every year during late, super late January sometimes, but usually mid-February-ish, when the water temperature hits about uh, upper 50s, low 60s, it triggers these white bass to start running up the creeks. And all you wanna do when you're looking for these things is find bends in the creek anything where uh, any spot where there's deep deep water there's more than likely going to be white bass so if you can find a bend in a creek where it's kind of washed away some some uh and eroded an area out where you can find deep water you'll mo more than likely find these white bass see another good way to get on these fish is if the water is super shallow in an area and there's a deep channel that runs through there's a little bit of current and a way for these white bass to get through they're going to be in that deeper channel so if there's any white bass in this area they're going to be moving along this right bank so what i'll do is i'll cast into that current pull my bait back you know with little paddle tails like this especially you do need a pretty good amount of speed on your lure or current to make those tails work correctly so if you can cast into current it's actually it's actually best there's a fish let's see if that's a white uh, it's a little large mouth still a start though it's a start large mouth so the skunk is gone that's what I'm talking about now what I'm saying is if you can cast into the current it's gonna actually give your paddle tails a, a better retrieve than if it was just in slack water. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Trying to cast in some spots where there's some pretty good current movement. And I will say that when the water level is really low like it is today and there's really clear water, those white bass might get a little bit more finicky. Definitely gonna be uh, working deeper water. And when the water is really, really low like it is, oh, I just had a one. I just had one swipe at it right there at the very last second. It looks like a little large mouth again, but who knows? Could have been a white. There's one. That feels like, a, oh, that felt like a white bass. That 100% felt like a white bass, guys. They fight hard. Did feel like a white bass, too. I'm just, dang it. I'm just focusing in on this channel right now that these... Oh 
my god <clears throat> Damn. we'll be back in a second sorry we're having technical difficulties right now i think my camera battery is dying okay well, i'll right, we'll be back in the right back. this is a good spot and what i look for when i'm white bass fishing we got a pocket and a corner so that usually means that there's some deeper water right here also what white bass will sometimes do is they'll sit in a little pocket right in front of where there's some good moving current like this and they'll wait and kind of prepare themselves to start running up the river so if you could find a spot like this like see the slack water right here right before this current it's a perfect spot for these white bass to be sitting and waiting but since the creek is way down i'm thinking any like any of those bends back there that there's one. Oh my goodness that feels like a good fish there's a white bass there's one that's what we're looking for awesome so they're still here that is good to see good to know this is an undersize i wouldn't keep this fish i didn't bring a stringer or anything anyways today but even if i was this isn't isn't the size i'm looking for when i'm keeping these things are absolutely delicious and they're fantastic eating it's one of my favorite fish to eat but didn't bring a string or anything today and i have a fridge absolutely full of those things so just throwing back anything i catch today keep on going keep on walking i'm going to keep on fishing this edge here where this where there is a little bit deeper water Keep on fishing this and hopefully find a white bass here eventually. Now I will say these white bass are notorious. I just got bit. There's one. That's a white. That's a good white bass. Oh my god. No man. That was a good white bass. That was a really good white bass. Crap. Hit it again. He did. He did. He did. He did. He, did. he hit it again right there. Oh my gosh. What is this dude doing? God, he missed it. He missed it. He missed it. Pull it out of the water. I don't want him to see me. Dang it. That was a good one. He hit it. There he is. Yeah, I knew it was a white bass, but it's not the same one. Not the same one. Dang it, there's a good one down there. See, see, what happens is these white bass will start moving up in little schools. Like what's happening right now here is a white bass, a little school of them running through here. There's another one. There's a little school of them running through here and there was one really nice one that hit me a second ago. Let's see if I can get him to bite again. See, whenever you find these fish, it's super easy to catch them. It should be, should be one after another, but that's a good one no it's not it's another little one another real little one but see i'm telling you whenever you find these things it is on it's just a matter of getting into these fish this is how it always is with white bass fishing you just got to find and search and search and search until you find them and then from then it's it's game on hopefully there's still more here there's one oh, he hit it hit it right there in front of me see they're moving through this little deep cut right here there's one mm-hmm there we go this is not the size we're looking for but hey white bass is a white bass ton of small males right here hopefully there's a there's a good female moving through with them. It's a little bit better. No? They just fight so good in that current, man. See, guys, all I was doing is... Oh, see? He hasn't made it upstream yet. If you squeeze them a little bit and they, and they leave a white substance on you, I'm going to let you guess what that is. 
if they, if they leave a white substance on you like that, that means they haven't spawned yet. So they should still be moving upstream. It gives me hope that there's still some big females in the area too. These white bass move in wolf packs like this. And they're just moving through this deep channel right here, getting upstream. Okay. I'm just going and searching for that deep water. Looks like there's some right in front of me right now. Right here in this color change. Those white bass will sit right on the edge of the depth change. They'll ambush anything that comes over the top. See, it looks right here like it drops down. Yeah, it does a little bit. So I'm going to stand here, cast straight out into that slack water, let it sink for four or five seconds, and start bringing it back to me. It wasn't like this last year. That's a white bass, for sure, yeah sitting right there in that in that deep pocket like I thought he would be